Well, I wasn't going to get back on again just yet, but listen, I got this in my email, and I've got to share it right away. All right, Aubrey McCloskey sent me this dream. Now, her little daughter, I think she's six, had a dream a while back. I believe I shared it. And she dreamed that they were at a fast food Chick-fil-A, and she saw monsters making the workers put garbage and virus in their food. And when she woke up and told her mom about it, she said, Mama, why would they put make them put garbage and virus in our food? All right, now listen to this. It's been maybe a week or two ago. All right, here's what she says. Good morning, lovely sister. I just came across some awful but interesting news that stopped me in my tracks this morning. I got an emergency email that said coronavirus was found in food and the WHO is downplaying the ordeal. They're downplaying it. Oh yeah, let's just shut down the whole, the world practically, except they allowed, let me tell you something, they allowed those couple of countries that got herd immunity and they didn't wear masks and they didn't, I think Denmark's one of them, I don't remember the other, maybe Sweden, anyway. So they shut the whole country down over coronavirus. Well now someone's finding it in their food or they found it in food and they're, they're downplaying it. Okay, let me continue. And the WHO is downplaying the ordeal. When I opened the news, it was describing how the outside of certain packaging, whoops, sorry, let's shut that thing off right now. The down, the outside of certain packaging and even inside some of these foods contained COVID-19 in them. Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. How do you how do you know that? I when I opened the news, it was describing how the outside of certain packaging and even inside some of these foods contain maybe she meant containing COVID nineteen in them. And they are foodstuffs that get imported into the US. Remember Daphne saying in her dream, monsters were forcing the workers in food places to put what she called garbage and virus into the food. There looks to be the beginning of some truth to this now. Everyone should truly take praying over every food and drink they buy and are about to consume seriously. Also, armor of God. That's Ephesians 6, 12 and on. Learn it. Do it. Every day. I don't take mine off. Seriously. I sleep in it. I mean, I, who? it's a spiritual thing. So what I do is I plead the blood of Jesus over each part of it every night before I go to bed as part of my spiritual warfare but you do it however you feel comfortable knowing that you're armored up every day okay armor of God and Psalm 91 daily when the Lord said in the last days he would pour out his spirit on all flesh and children and young men and women and old men and women would have dreams and visions and prophecy. He wasn't kidding. No, he wasn't. None of the Bible can be said that God was kidding. You're absolutely right about that, Aubrey. I know he wasn't, but there are still those in disbelief. So, those who are discrediting a person's warning dream... Take it to the Lord before you shrug it off. We are all the body. We have to come together. As always, God bless you and keep you. I will tag screen.
screenshot. Take, maybe a tag. Anyway, she sent this picture. It's really huge. I can't even screenshot it. It's so big, unless I can make it smaller. No, there's no option to do that. Okay, it says on here, COVID-19 found in food again. WHO downplays the risk. Emergencyemail.org Now, if anybody can... All right, it goes on to say the emergency email and wireless network health alert update Friday, August 14th, 2020. Let me see if it's on my phone because I get health alerts about COVID. I want to know if anybody else has gotten this. Let me see if it's in my email. Um, got more email than usual. DoorDash. Okay, yeah, I've got to subtract that. I ordered groceries. I went ahead and ordered some water. Um, and some extra foods. I didn't really need them yet. But, um, okay, grafted in. No, I'm not seeing. No, there's nothing in here from, from in, that from me. All right, come on, pull up. It's not pulling up. There we go. All right. Wipe. All the stuff you got to go through. All right, I got three messages. No, nope, I don't have any. Um, nothing but stuff about what I shopped for. Anyway, I got nothing. So if any of of you have heard of that, or um. Let's see. There it is. It's, she says it's from the Emergency Email and Wireless Network Health Alert Update. Health Top Health Alerts and News. Food Risks. New Breaking News. Okay, so I don't... It's breaking news. I need somebody to research this for me. I don't really have time because I, there's so much going on and I know that my phone is full of notifications from Grafted In Team Jesus and I've got to check because that's, that's where I'm getting uh, what I'm able to share. Um, the prophecies, of course some of y'all send me stuff too. I mean, I've gotten some great stuff from y'all. And, of course, the things like this and the food recalls and other good videos. So, but these prophecies all kind of say the same thing, are they not? And, oh, anyway, I'm just so excited and ready. I'm so ready to be off this planet and in my glorified body and back to do the things that we have to do to get everybody else ready and then get off the planet again and go to heaven while the wrath takes place on the unbelievers and the whoremongers and those who just would not get right. They just could not give up their sin. They are believers. They are. And, I, and I'm praying that those are the ones that at the last minute they get right with the Lord and they repent, then they lose their head because the Lord specifically told me that that they would be beheaded and that would be the great harvest. 
And in Julie's message, she talked about just that group of people dying in the grape harvest. And he called it the grape harvest. So there's, you know, just because some words were left out that I was given doesn't make the whole thing wrong. We each get parcel in part. We see in, what is it? We see in part and we prophesy in part. Nobody gets the whole picture in their message. So I'm going to end this at that because I have so much to look at. I plead the blood of Jesus over this and over the internet connection and over my channel, myself, and each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. Okay, with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. And praise the Lord, I can talk without coughing. Ha ha, Satan. You just didn't get enough smokers out there to smoke, did you? And I declare they will not either. In the name of Jesus. Bye for now. Talk to you later.